So hello everybody, my name is Jim Life and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead. Right, let's go and find that key. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Um... It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. TV store. It's electronics. I need to go back inside. Can I go back inside? I can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. I need to get back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. <laughs> that was a quick okay. <laughs> Let's head back inside. Okay. So I need... I need... Uh, I need a remote for the... For the... And the TVs. I'm assuming I can like turn them on to make that like, static noise to um yeah because there's a TV here so there must be a remote around here somewhere aha it's the remote to my dad's TV but I also need something to 
bust that lock off. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. It's that much but here for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Uh... You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. So maybe we head out and then I'll be able to grab something that can bust the lock off. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Huh? Oh, cool. We're getting like a, an overview. Over the wall with the left stick. Pick too long and I'll be seen. Okay. Uh, oh. It's a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. What do you have in mind? some attention. Be careful. Okay, it's B. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. Huh. So not with a pillow then. Put on. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Was sick. <laughs> now, nah, now we can roll the car into, into that guy over there. Um... Oh, 
Oh, spot plug. Oh, yeah, we need to put it into neutral. It's a spark. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. It could come in handy. All right, let's push this car. <laughs> right. I don't know what that spot could be for. Could it be for the window or something? Oh, it can. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Scramble of rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Right. So it must be all the way back over here now. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? I reckon that was like a lot. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. I'm going to do this because there's two of them and only one of me. But let's find out. To the face! To the face! there we're here to help please just go away let's go guys in a minute if you open up we can take you somewhere safer we've got a group in town no 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 please. she's in trouble no. miss we're coming in no, it's not. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn. I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. 
Just leave me, please go. Uh... Okay, we'll leave. Just... Try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I... Borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me? I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please! I don't want to be one of them. They're... They're... Satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me! We need to get going. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! You... Get out of here. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Right, let's head back outside. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Right, so now... Wait, wait, wait what? I can use... Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. Huh? It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. Why am I standing up? Oh, well, okay. Uh, here we go. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Let's open this now. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I can't reach that brick. Now give me the brick. <clears throat> Throw out the window? Yes, I can.
Now's the time. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? You want to take. There we go. There we go. Holy crap! Run! Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast! I gotta get my dad out of here! I don't plan on dilly-dallying! Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me! Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here! You got it! Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then! And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck! Here you go! Guys, that door's not locked anymore! Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know... I should know what? Huh? You said I should know... Are you sure? Shit. Oh, shit! Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. That window is screwed. Go! Uh. I found something! Ah! Get up! 
Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage... I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends and be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Hey, Ken. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. Um, 
I'm sorry, Doug. It's okay. Thanks, though. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. Uh, I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. There was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Exactly. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Oh, dear. Huh. Ooh, we got trailer. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. Oh, look. This 
fairly even, apart from... Well, really? The only one that was not almost slap bang in the middle was... Who would you say? Duck or Sean? Only 30% of players chose Duck. That's that's really weird. Because my thought process was, Duck's a kid. You know, you've got to save the kids. Because they haven't lived much of life. They need to live. Whereas Sean was, what, like 20? Something like that. I know it's difficult to pick between the two, but... Logically, save the younger. Apart from that, everyone's slapped bang down the middle. I hope it doesn't really affect your story too much with these decisions. Because I like the style of the game. I like making decisions that actually change what happens. But I don't want it to be like where we were back at the farm. And if I was to save Sean, that would mean that I'd stay at the farm or something like that, which means a lot of the other stuff wouldn't happen. Hope it's not like that, but we'll find out. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching another episode of The Walking Dead. If you liked it, hit that like button, hit that J to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you all next time.